Facebook now wants to get into your head. The teaser for the day is HTCU. And Bose has a lawsuit against them for spying. Today is Thursday, April the 20th and this is 360 Daily. Facebook wants to get into your head. What I mean by this odd sentence is that whatever you think, Facebook wants to convert that into text, which is why they are calling this technology brain to text. It basically wants to create silent speech interfaces based on senses that can be worn and then mass produce them. Imagine sending messages or email by just thinking about it. And that's not all. Facebook also has this 360 degree video capturing gadget that looks like an alien probe. The rig that you can see has 14 wide angle cameras bolted onto the base. There is one fisheye camera on the top and two at the bottom. This is of course to make 360 degree videos more popular. The Honor Bee is back with a new sequel called Honor Bee 2. It starts at 7,499 rupees and has 4G voice LTE. Surprisingly, this smartphone is offline exclusive and it also comes with a 15-month service warranty. The highlight of the smartphone is the rainbow notification ring that glows when there is a call, message or anything else that needs your attention. Google Play section My Apps and Games has been reorganized so that it can be used better. You can now organize your apps alphabetically, last updated, last used and through size. With this new update, there is no subscription tab and the All tab has been renamed as Library. The update is already rolling out to users. The teaser for the day is HTCU, at least that's what we think it's going to be called. The 5 seconds teaser is out. Rumours say that the phone will be powered by Snapdragon 835 SoC and will sport a 5.5 inch QHD touchscreen. It's said to be unveiled on May 16th. Now Bose has a lawsuit filed against them which is allegedly accusing them of spying on their wireless headphone customers. The wireless headphones come with a Connect app that tracks music, podcasts and other audio. The company has been allegedly using this app to spy on their customers. That's it on this edition of 360 Daily. I'm Devika Chitnis for Gadgets 360 and for all things tech, don't forget to log on to Gadgets360.com.